I just didn't want you to be like me. Hope it's not too uncomfortable for you. I know you used to work together, but he's here for my safety. I know, definitely, if it weren't for anyone else, you would be sitting in cell right now. But I personally want to know why you did it. You know me better than anyone else. But I mean, I've been looking for someone like you, I just realized that. Uh, well, someone like me isn't me. Now that you're doing this, what's going to happen with us? With you, me? Are you saying you want my help? Yeah, I don't want you to just up and leave I'm, me. I'm, me. I'm just asking if you want me to help you. You know what? Never mind. I can't. Who helped you get off the drugs and all the stuff before? You. And now you're just going to leave me? Uh, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Can I help you? Is there something I can do? No. Uh, I, I have to go. Uh, I can't stay here any longer. I don't want you involved with my problems. You're just gonna up and leave. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have to go. Hey, I'm speaking to you. This place is shut down for a private VIP situation. Formal invitation only. So if you're not expected, you have to leave now. What are you, a cop? I was one. Alright, I have to search you for weapons. Hands on your head and turn around. Stay right here. Don't move. There's a guy looking for you. He's clean, I searched him. I don't know you. Why are you here? He's looking for a man. What is this type, huh? Depends on the day. Today's Russians with shitty accents. And you are men with shitty attitude for somebody looking for help. I'll say. Sit. Give us five minutes. You sure about that? I prefer to stay. For your protection, sir. Five minutes. Go. So you are looking for a man. This man you are looking for? He's not the man you should look for. 
If he learns that you're looking for him, he find you. He find you. And that does not end well for you, my friend. You were his main supplier, correct? Why are you so serious? You're too young to be so stupid. Relax. I'll relax. My brother. I just wondered when someone was going to do that. How'd you know where to plant the gun? And he always sits there. We don't have a lot of time. Do you have information? Of course I do. Alright, good luck. Do you have the information that I requested earlier? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, He's uh, not talking yet. No, not at all. Uh, there's a woman here who wants to talk to him. That's already, that's not gonna be long. Well, if he won't talk to you, maybe he'll talk to someone else. Why didn't you come to me? We could have figured things out. I've always wanted to help you. I don't understand. I love you, Mom. Sorry for this. That's the first time you ever called me, Mom. Even though you're my stepson, I will always love you. I called out of work just to see you and... This is where you're at. Fucking police station. My home. Job at home. Whatever you want to call it. Better here than it was at home. You know, you and fucking... You and Dad... You two were always best buddies and, you know, you were the perfect child. He took you everywhere, he... Did everything with you and nothing with me. You know, I got I got two memories of dad. And uh you know, it was it was a big deal for me. He, he took me to the store and he bought me candy and that was that was one of the highlights of dad. But you I, I saw the pictures, I saw, you know, the the proms and the girls and the clothes and freaking bought you brand new truck. You didn't give me anything. And you know, for the longest time, I, th I thought it was mom. I thought it was her talking to my ear because, you know, I got in trouble every once in a while. And, you know, maybe I was drinking at 16 and I got caught up with a couple bad guys. And, you know, we came down to the police station for a weekend. But... Dude, the stuff that I, I see you in here for is, what are you doing? This, this, this isn't, we're not 16 anymore. You can't, like, this, this changes the game. And, you know, I, for the longest time I did think it was mom. And then, you know, we got remarried, and I thought everything was going to be different, and then we're going to have this relationship, and, and dad was going to look out for me, and, you know, and, and still, man, you were the favorite. You know, I, I wish he was here to see you like this. Yeah, I, I wish he was here too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. I, oh no, it's not his fault. He didn't do anything. Yeah, he's, that's my boy. He wouldn't do that. That's, that's ridiculous. But me, no. He, yeah, let him sit. Let him sit in here for the weekend. You know, I turned everything around, man. I, I got a wife and kids and house and full 180 both of us <laughs> but you better realize one thing that if anything comes to this and if anything happens to my family I'm gonna kill you myself don't worry N nothing's gonna happen with your family 
the guys that I was involved with, they know nothing about me. Your family's fine, trust me. So this is one hell of a day for you, huh, kid? So you always want to tell me what happened? I mean, we used to be like family. Though. Your family invited me over every weekend. Your mother cooked so good. I mean, I had so many great times over there. I mean, you know, if you need anybody to talk to, you want to be straight with somebody, you want to be straight with me, you know you can trust me. Me and your father rode these roads together for years. We've done a lot of crazy shit together. I understand what you must be going through. You can talk to me right now. But if you're not going to be straight here with me, you're not going to be straight here with this interrogator, I'd rather you let me know what's going on before you, she gets to you so I can get out there on these streets and try to clear your name and try to find out anything that went wrong that caused you to do this. It, it's crazy how it changes you. The things you do for it, the things you do to the people you love. I got hooked, and I couldn't let go. My dad was a crooked cop, but he was still a good dad. Your father's a great dad. <clears throat> I was at my worst. I had nothing left, and an opportunity was presented. He knew exactly how desperate I was. He told me to kill a corrupt cop. If you want me to do something for you, you gotta do something for me. And basically, you know what I'm talking about. You take care of that, I'll take care of you. secret man you, you, you what's up you want to drink sit down or something you know what I'm saying you look a little weird standing there like that what's going on you you, you coming from some new product or something you know you know I got that fire man definitely got that fire for you that's what you're looking for but listen well let's talk what's up you're not talking back to me here. you're not conversing with me what's going on hey listen are you gonna sit down? You gonna stand up? You gonna look strange? Wait, wait, what's up? You're making me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, finally. dangerous. Doing that job changes you. It changed me into something I don't like. I just didn't want you to be like me. They want me to kill you. 
Who? You know who. This is exactly why I didn't want you to do that job. 